Science 5, Quarter 2, Week 3, Milk Base. Let's learn about Menstrual Cycle. Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Welcome back kids! For today's lesson in Science 5, we will discuss about menstrual cycle. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Explain the menstrual cycle. As boys and girls grow, there are many changes that occur in terms of physical, social, and emotional aspects. During puberty stage, boys grow faster than girls. They develop low pitch voice, broader shoulder, and Adam's apple. Hair begins to grow under arms, on the face, and genitals. The testes starts to produce sperm. On the other hand, girls grow taller. They develop bigger breast and hips also pubic hair start to grow at this stage ovaries begin to produce egg cells that become the reason of having menstruation monthly in this lesson you will learn how eggs are produced and mature and what happens to them during menstrual cycle Menstrual cycle only happens among girls and begins during puberty or menarche. It is a monthly period of egg maturation and pregnancy preparation along with the production of different hormones. Menstruation is the stage of the menstrual cycle usually lasting from 3 to 5 days when fertilization does not occur. During this process, blood, some uterine tissue, and the unfertilized egg are eliminated from the uterus through vagina. Generally, menstrual cycle has four major stages, and these are First, follicular stage Second, ovulation Third, luteal stage And fourth, menstruation Follicular stage In this stage, hormones are produced to stimulate the growth of ovarian follicles and the thickening of endometrium. Ovulation In this process, another hormone causes the follicle to rupture and release an egg, also called as oocyte. Luteal stage in this stage, hormones act on the uterus for the preparation of pregnancy. And the last one is menstruation. In this stage, the thick lining of the uterus will slot off and will be eliminated from the body as menstrual blood. If an egg is not fertilized, the uterus comes off its lining in the form of blood. This is typically called monthly period girls can count the days in their cycle to help them know when to expect their next period this is useful so that they can prepare some pads in their bag to be reminded about the occurrence of menstruation counting the days is important for instance girls may mark the first day of bleeding on the calendar it takes 5 days to complete menstruation. Normally, girls bleed in 5 days during menstruation. Women have different menstrual cycle period. For instance, most women have 29 days to complete the cycle. In general, menstrual cycle may be as short 
as 21 days and may last up to 36 days. Going below or beyond, this number of days mean that a woman is experiencing irregular menstruation. The first menstruation is called menarche and occurred during puberty stage. At the age of 40 and beyond, menstrual cycle stops. This stage is called menopause. When woman gets its menopausal stage, she is no longer capable of conceiving a baby. And now, let's do learning task 1. Conduct an interview with your older sister or mother about their menstruation. Be guided with the interview question below. For question number 1, at what age did you first experience to have menstruation or period? Here are some possible answers. At the age of 12. Question number 2. For this month, at what exact date do you usually start experiencing bleeding? For example, her answer is November 13. Number 3. Based on your observation, at what exact date your bleeding stops? For example, her answer is November 18. And for number 4 question, from the day the bleeding stops, at what date on the next month you start your period? For example, her answer is December 13. For learning task 2, pick a date in a calendar. Consider that date as the first day of the menstrual cycle. Indicate also in the calendar the last day of the menstrual cycle. Accomplish the calendar in your notebook. Month of November 5 days of period Date where period bleeding stops November 17 And for the month of December From November to December There are 28 days of cycle And 5 days of bleeding Date where period or bleeding starts Will be on December 16 And date where period stops Will be on December 20 Learning Task 3 Determine whether the statement is true or false. Write woman if the statement is expressed through idea. Otherwise, write man if it is false. Number 1. Menstrual cycle period may change every month. Is it true or false? Very good. The answer is... Woman. True. Number 2. The blood from menstruation is filthy. Is it true or false? Very good. The answer is true, woman. Number 3. The blood during menstruation is due to crush egg cells. Is it true or false? Very good. The answer is woman, true. Number 4. When women get pregnant, they still experience monthly period. Is it true or false? Very good. The answer is... Man. False. Number 5. The number of days of menstrual cycle may be shorter or longer. Is it true or false? Very good. The answer is... Woman. True. Number 6. Menarche signals the possibility to become pregnant in the presence of sperm cell. Is it true or false? Very good. The answer is... Woman. True. Number 7. After menopause, women can still get pregnant. Is it true or false? Very good. The answer is man. False. Number 8. Hormones are important in the menstrual cycle. Is it true or false? Very good. The answer is woman. True. Number 9. 
Stress can be a factor of changing menstrual cycle. Is it true or false? Very good. The answer is woman. True. And number 10, it takes 5 days for a woman to complete menstrual cycle. Is it true or false? Very good. The answer is man. False. Remember, menstrual cycle only happens among girls and begins during puberty or menarche. It is a monthly period of egg maturation and pregnancy preparation along with the production of different hormones. Menstruation is the stage of the menstrual cycle usually lasting from 3 to 5 days when fertilization does not occur. During this process, blood, some uterine tissue, and the unfertilized egg are eliminated from the uterus through vagina. So kids, are your all answers correct? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!